Alright. Alright guys and girls, welcome back to another video of mine on my YouTube channel. I'm Anthony Kenneth Bishop. This is just a bit of latest news. I'm just looking on the Guardian's website. Because they've put an article. This was... When was this one done? Tuesday the 9th of June. Oh, that was yesterday. 2020. Uh, to run about quarter past five. Now, I've just looked. The title of it, Bristol uh, Zoo warns it may never recover from the coronavirus impact. And it is sad. Um, zoo is uh, among many appealing to the government to allow them to reopen as lockdown eases. Then it also states, um, one of the world's oldest zoos has said it may never recover from the impact of the UK's government decision not to allow it and other zoos to reopen as lockdown eases. Bristol Zoological Society, um, which was founded in 1835, has said it reserves have run out and it will lose 2.6 million in July and August. So that's next month and the month afterwards, because someone were in June at the time of this video. Um, if it cannot open Bristol Zoo's gardens, it said um, staff, volunteers, visitors and supporters were outraged and perplexed at the government stance, which is called it uh, called ridiculous and shocking. London and White uh, Whip Snade, Whips Nade um, Zoo also warned on Tuesday they forced uh, no faced permanent closure if the government decision is not reversed, pointing out that it costs one million pound a month. To care for the animals, its animals. MPs are due to discuss the issues in Parliament on Thursday after lobbying uh, from the British Irish Association of Zoos and Aquariums. Because I know, I think um, that aquarium's closed down now where we live and stuff in Western Supermare and all that. There was talk. No, no, you know the, the aquarium, what's it called? Um, I did hear some yeah. talks yeah. about this. Send yeah, if people can pounds, donate money and all that. Yeah, but even two pounds not going to be enough. That's yeah, the thing. If people got together oh. and sent it to the zoo, maybe it would go towards the animals. But yeah, anyway, uh, guys and girls, like, what I'll do is I'll link this article to my videos on my YouTube channel. So what I'll do is I'll go there and then I'll copy and paste that. And I'll put it on there so you guys and girls can check it out. But I'm looking on the page. Um, it says MPs to discuss the issue about it. Um, Justin Morris, the chief executive of Bristol Zoo Garden, said we have reached a point where the future of zoos, including Bristol Zoo Gardens, is seriously at stake. We are watching other venues and shops reopening. And it is absolutely heartbreaking. Well, it is heartbreaking because you see all these other shops opening. And then they say, well, why aren't we opening and stuff? So it's kind of, you could say they're saying like, oh, it's favoritism. But it's not, they're just trying to make everybody safe and all that kind of stuff. And I get the point why we need to basically ease into this in the first place. So it doesn't spread again for a second time. But... With these riots going on at the moment and these protests, I'm telling you guys and girls, like, the absolute idiots, a lot of them. That's just my opinion on it. Because the thing is, you're going out, you're protesting. Most, um, like I'd say, a lot of them is majority doing it for their gains in the first place. They're doing it for basically, um, they're gaining something out of it by doing these protests so they can loot so they can actually uh, riot and all that and those are bad people they need to be arrested that something needs to happen to them to arrest them because they're criminals a lot of them and i get the people that are actually doing it in peaceful protests but then is i don't call taking down statues peaceful 
and taken them all down. Yes, we get that you're anguished at this. You're absolutely upset. You're outraged because of the statues, what they represent. But you pulling down these statues in the first place is like criminality and all that. You're becoming criminals. You should do it by the book. If you want to get rid of these statues, get rid of the statues. But do it by protest, not vandalism. And also they're trying to get rid of uh, Churchill's uh, statue out of the way. Which, to be honest, um, I kind of disagree with that. In a way, because we have gone to this point now where he won us the war. World War One and World War Two. He actually was the one who helped us win against Germany in the 1930s, 39, 30 and 40s and stuff. So, I mean, it's hard to say, look, we want his statue taken away as well. Because then all those soldiers have died in vain then because of the guy who helped us in the first place. So, I mean, it's one of those things. But anyway, getting back to the topic, to the main topic, guys and girls. It says, but there is only so much we can do. We have a living collection of animals to continue to care for. And all of the costs associated with that, we cannot furlow all of our staff. And we must uh, also ensure that our sites are secure and maintained. The reality is that the cash has now run out. Uh, the Director General of the Zoological Society of London, ZSL, which runs London and Whip snade zoos said unlike shops museums pubs we couldn't just shut the gates press pause wait for the green light to return a defra spokesperson said we understand the challenges faced by zoos and aquariums during these unprecedented times but it is vital that we do not move too quickly in reopening to ensure but then is guys and girls Right. If we don't open now, it's just going to crash the economy. Then we're not going to have any money. We're not going to have any money at all. People won't be able to go out to work. And now because we've got these protesters like putting themselves out there, going all out in the street, this could actually spread a second epidemic because a lot of those people I've seen, they haven't got any masks at all. And they're getting really, really close to each other. Where's the two meters? Where is the two meters in this? If you want to protest, guys and girls, make sure you're bloody two meters away. It just makes me sad that we've got to this point already. Now it looks like we're going back again um, to the same circle. We're going in circles. Uh, so, to be honest, with this guy, the one they said, that MP bloke, it's kind of funny when they said, oh, let's get rid of him um, out of uh, Downing Street, the one that's teaming up with Boris Johnson, what was his name, um, that other MP bloke, and went off with his family to see, and took his wife in the car because she had that virus. Um, but it's really funny when people say, oh, well, let's uh, say... Let's get rid of him out of 10 down the street. But then they do the opposite. Because they say, oh, we don't want him spreading his germs and stuff. Or getting germs or anything and spreading it and all that. Because he's going now and he wasn't supposed to do it. And he was doing it illegally and all that. Breaking the rules and stuff. Now, you guys and girls, the ones who are protesting, you've broke the rules now. So, basically, there's a lot of hypocrisy in it. A bunch of hypocrites now. So, basically, um, it's, uh, it's just ridiculous. And it is. Um, anyway, getting back to this. A def, um, DEFRA spokesperson said, We understand the challenges faced by zoos and aquariums during these unprecedented times. Uh, we have provided a £14 million support fund to ensure smaller zoos are able to continue to care for their animals. We are continuing to engage with some of the larger zoos to discuss their concerns around the reopening and the need for further funding. So basically, at the moment, if you want guys and girls 
to support Bristol Zoo because they've been doing a fantastic job. They've done a hell of a lot of work there and they need your help. Uh, a lot of the zoos actually need your help around the I UK. I was saying on that, mm. um, the zoo people, mm. even if she said two pounds. And they said even, yeah, like my mum was saying, like, um, even if you just send two pound, it's going to help. Or a fiver or some or ten pound, it will help with what they need, and they need to help to actually keep Bristol Zoo open. Now there was some talks on another website I was looking at, and apparently some zoos have to permanently close, which means they would have to actually put down some of the animals and put them to sleep. Because they have no um, no way of keeping them alive. Because they have no money and stuff. And it's absolutely really heartbreaking, guys and girls. We really need to try and get back on track. I know how hard it is at the moment. People's pockets and people are trying to go back to work and all that. But then is it is heartbreaking to see animals actually get killed. Not on purpose. But because it saves them getting suffering. So they have to have to be put down because of it. And I'm vegan myself. I'm 100% like really against zoos. In captivating animals into zoos. But the thing is. Without the zoos them helping the animals in the first place. I get that if they go back in the wild. They might end up dead anyway. Because... They end up getting sort of captured by um, the hunters and then end up being put on a wall. And it's, it's kind of sort of like, I kind of put myself in the shoes of both sides. Yes, I don't want them killed in the wild. I don't want them hunted in the, uh, in the animal kingdom. But I also don't really want them being put in cages and locked up in the cages. But then is sometimes we have to put our pride in front and we have to uh, like behind us and we have to see what's going on with this whole bigger picture and all that so sometimes we have to like put our pride behind us and leave our pride behind as much as it's hurting us with our pride but or putting taking our pride off the line um, but anyway, guys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you do want to give to Bristol Zoo or charities and all that, um, yeah, just send it to Bristol Zoo if you can. Um, every little helps and all that. Even if it's two pound, even if it's a pound or fifty p, even I mean, every little helps, guys and girls. Um, but just try and help these poor animals, the ones who are in suffering and all that, because thing is one day we might not have these animals and stuff going in there we might not be able to see any of these beautiful animals they gave you pleasure. yeah and they give us all pleasure they give us all pleasure just watching the animals in the zoo and watching the monkeys on the monkey islands and watching the gorillas and all that kind of stuff and if you go to the other bristol zoo um which is noah's ark you can actually see the elephants there. Absolutely amazing. So you've got two zoos that you can actually help. You've got Bristol Zoo. And also you've got Noah's Ark. Which is part of Bristol Zoo as well. And all that. Not part of Bristol Zoo. But it's another zoo in Bristol. But anyway guys and girls. It is 9.30 right now. Um, it is the 10th of June 2020. I hope you enjoyed this guys and girls. Just leave a like if you do. Um, if you want to help. Go to the website, Bristol Zoo uh, website. Um, also, you can just, I suppose you can donate online and stuff onto their website if you want. Um, and, yeah, they definitely, desperately need your help. Um, they're amazing. What the works, they hard work they put themselves through uh, and the people works there. Absolutely hard work and... But anyway, guys and girls, cheers for watching. Stay safe, guys and girls, and have a lovely, lovely day.